But if I'm a billionaire and you're doing porn and I'm going to pull you out of you doing porn so that you can be with me, couldn't I just be with someone else who didn't do porn? Yeah, but your connection you share with that. the person is so but unique. She's and so my, my whole thing is like the trad cons are going to have an issue with this, but mm. the deal is like we're not going back. Does mm. everyone understand we're not going back? Because I think some people are confused yeah. about this idea. Like we're yeah. not, it, it's like there's no Ayatollah who's taking mm. over the United States. We're not impl implementing Sharia law. Mm. The, this is kind of like the world that we live in. The other article that you showed me with the backup partners, can you go over that? That's a really I can. Interesting, interesting. I have that right here as well. So um, let me ask you something before we go on real quick, ladies. Mm. Have you ever dated a guy, but in your mind you had just in case of emergency backup partner? You knew who you were going to go to if, if things didn't work out with this guy do you ever have that yep you've had that okay mm -hmm. beautiful how about you um kiss it closer to the microphone please <laughs> just grab the microphone pull it towards you definitely in my early dating years but not now i'm too confident for needing a backup plan okay nice so. i think every woman kind of does because ha has yeah. a backup partner uh -huh. what do you think sav i've never had a backup so you just, every when you were with I'm, Mike, that was just nothing but Mike? No, I'm all in. Okay. Like, I'm always all in. Nice. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> Chloe? Definitely my early 20s. You had a backup partner? Not so much now? No. Hill, what do you think? Yeah, Hill? I'm too old for that. A, a backup partner? Yeah. Well, it's interesting. So there's some statistics on this. Can we show this? I can, actually. Uh, if you want to show... I, oddly enough, I've written about this on the Rational Mail. Mm. Okay, uh, nice. Uh, an essay you... called Plan B. Uh, let me just give you the... Uh, we'll, 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 get to the uh, we'll get to the video in just Again, a second. Again, when he wrote that, there was no Plan B. There was so no enough. Plan B, yes. Yeah, this right, is before yes. Uber. So, this is a and long by the way, ago. you'll notice the date on this is March 14th today mm -hmm. uh 2016 so i wrote about this quite some time ago uh 2000 female respondents uh 43 have a backup man uh, in a current rela if the current relationship ends uh eight out of ten are in contact with the backup man oh, wow. 15 percent said their feelings were stronger for the backup man <laughs> Uh, fifty percent said their partner was aware of the backup man. Wow! One knew, knew who they were. Yes. <laughs> one out of one out of five admitted the backup man was a friend of their partner. Oh my goodness! And one out of one out of ten said the backup man had already confessed their undying love. Incredible. Wow. Twenty sixteen, by the way. I'm missing the like stats. How old are these people? Yeah, exactly. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. 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 I've never had a backup. God, I'm doing something wrong. Okay, so speaking of not having a backup, you did mention before that you were dating a guy while filming with someone else. Did you you just talk to me about that before we started the show? Yeah, but I was filming with a girl though. I was. Oh, filming, so that doesn't count. Yeah, so, that so just, count. just so we're clear, this does not count. This is how this is how it works on Access Vegas. Every time you sleep with a woman, your body count goes, goes down, down by one. one. It goes oh. down by one. So if thirty guys, very generous. thirty guys, thirty yeah. girls, you're a virgin. That's they cancel out. Okay, <laughs> awesome. But you've never. You when know, I was with him, I was 100 percent monogamous, even with work, even but, filming every. Thing. Okay, so this is my question. So you did film guy girl content, but then when you broke up, now you felt like you now you're filming with other people. I am like, now. What was that transition like? I feel so liberated. Yeah. I feel I'm so happy. I felt like I was holding back who I was, and I wanted to. I wa I'm like a little fairy, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I want to do what I want when I want to do it. And out of respect to our relationship at the time, I held back a lot of my wants and desires. And I feel like as a woman, you know, especially I pay my own bills, I'm successful, you know, and that that respect that I had for our relationship was was not um, was not appreciated. So looking back, it's like, wow, I did all of this and it's still not appreciated. So now for the first time in my life, I'm doing exactly what I want to do when I want to do it and with who I want to do it with. Do you. So I, I know you filmed with Karen. Was there anybody else? Uh, Johnny Sense. You film with Johnny Sense. Okay. So my qu my qu like by the way, how did you how did you contact it or did did Kieran contact you? How did that work? Um, I was introduced to Kieran, a mutual friend. Uh huh. By the way, and shout out to Kieran. I'm pretty sure he's watching. This. I love Kieran. Yeah. Kieran's amazing. Yeah. Hi, Kieran Lee. Um, and then he actually, um, I think it was like you said, noticeable. Yeah. I was single yeah. on Instagram, and he's like, you fancy if. A fancy so, a so that's right. You and me. You so that's her and I were on a phone call one time, and she was commenting on the fact that it was very obvious that I had a girlfriend by the way I post. Mm -hmm. And I looked at her stuff, and I was like, "It's very obvious that you are <laughs> single now." I pointed that out to her, and then so since that happened, because I just want the guys out there to know this is how it works. You and your girlfriend break up, and then Johnny sins and Karen Lee slide into your girlfriend's DMs, so they can make a hundred tickets. They can make six figures on OF. So, and I'm can, filming with uh, Manuel Ferreira. How, how did you get in touch with Johnny Sins? Johnny sends. Um, I'm in a um, a WhatsApp chat with yeah. the bigger talent. 
stores. And, you know, he was like, I'm available Saturday. And I was like, ooh. And then he was just like, oh, you know, I seen you in the chat. And it just happened. And great performer. Great performer. I got to say, I think my guts were sore for like three days afterwards. But oh I took it like a champ. God. I took definitely not an amateur over here. I'll That's nasty. That. Okay, so, it is nasty, so, right? Isn't it nasty? So, 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 moving forward, do you want a traditional monogamous relationship? I want, you know, that definition is is different with everybody. To me, work is not not being monogamous. What to me is whoa, whoa. The, so you could have a relationship and still film with other dudes. Is that and what you're they saying? could film with women as well. Okay, yeah. Like if I was dating someone in the industry, that's work. That's really performing. Like sex on camera is so different than intimate love making. Like you have to be open to the camera. I mean, and when I'm making love, I'm not open to yeah. anything. So you know? if it's on camera, does it not count? It doesn't. No, it's that's not right. cheating because there's no level of intimacy it's at all whatsoever. It's the same thing as stripper. Yeah. It, I, it, wait, exactly. wait, 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 wait. No, no. I, I want to make sure we're very clear and get this all on the record. Number one, having sex on camera does not count. And number two, Kirsten says having sex on camera is the same thing as being a stripper. Go ahead. Yes, because it's not sexual. It's, it's your not, job. Mm-hmm. It's not sexual. Yeah, it's it's like work. It's, it's it's not the same connection. What? Okay. So there's no connection. So, so, so yeah. I, out of curiosity, why why do you think guys? Guys have a problem with it then. Why do you think? Because, because they're, they're insecure. Not doing it. Because they're not doing it. Because they're not doing it. Because yeah, what would you say? It's not oh, I, didn't, I think it was. Somebody else? I said because they're insecure. Because they're yeah. insecure. Okay. I got a I got another reason for you. It's not because you didn't enjoy it. It's because the other guy did enjoy it. That's why we have a problem with it. That's it's, fair. Yeah. The Honestly, reason that's fair. Yeah, it's not it's it not the situation when, whenever a girl's like, oh I some dude in a bathroom, blah blah blah, and he's like, I didn't, I don't bathroom. even remember, I don't even remember what happened. <laughs> and the girl's was, like, I don't even remember what happened, or like, like when's the last time anybody's a dude in the bathroom? Me, two weeks ago, okay, with see. Will Pounder. Yeah, you can, with Will Pounder. What the? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, going back to about what I'm saying, I've heard girls say this before. It's like, yeah, I filmed with these guys, but I didn't enjoy it. I'm like, but he enjoyed it. That's what brought. That's what, that's what bothers us. So just so, just so we're clear, it's not a function of insecurity either. It's like it's like two hundred thousand years of evolutionary wiring. But that's that, reason. Go ahead. Do guys like that go for the same type of woman? Guys like what? Absolutely. Like like just like yeah, stars on the strippers. Do they always follow that? Like which guys train? are we talking about? Yeah. Like I, guys, I don't understand what you're saying. Like guys who. Men. Yeah, like the, what you guys were just talking about, like guys, um, <clears> like <throat> they didn't, and they enjoyed it more, so they didn't, and that's why they're jealous or whatever, right? I, I'm not sure which guys we're talking about. I think it's important to make a point that the the men in the industry are also professionals. Mm-hmm. Though. Mm-hmm. It's not or guys like, who are not in the industry. Sorry, that's what I'm trying I, to get at. But if you're going go to that. date a girl in the industry and have a problem with it, you need to be rich. oh no no no. I, I you to- need to be able to remove yeah, okay, her from get- the industry so she doesn't have to do it. I totally agree yeah. with you. Or my, you're underqualified. My, 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 have an opinion. Wait, he's supposed to remove you from yeah. the industry? You can't. He's supposed to remove you? Or you could be so rich that you're like, I don't want you doing this. I have billions of dollars. Can I, can I, relax. Can I, ask, can I, I, I like her. Here's, so, can I ask a question? So only a billionaire can only take a you billionaire. Absolutely. Yeah. Only a billionaire. You should I, all like, be I like you. But then guys like that still go for girls like. So but if I'm a billionaire and you're doing. Not, not you specifically, but in general, the proverbial you. And I'm going to pull you out of you doing that you can be with me. Couldn't I just be with someone else who didn't do Yeah, but your connection you share with that. the person is so unique but she's and Julia universal. Roberts and Pretty Woman. Got it. That's why. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I want to, I'm going to do this real quick. Um, so I've had to apologize like 15 times for this video. Oh, and so God. we're just going to play right now so really? I can give one massive apology. I've given so many apologies. No. No. Who is oh, this? So Who is that? That chick is so hot right I now. My girlfriend works out at Fit Club. I, like I love Fit Club. Place is great. But she goes there and I'm not stupid. Every dude there is trying to like help her with the weights. Right. There's dudes out there trying to take my girl. There's dudes that are trying to take my money. I have a burden of performance. And then when I come home and I want peace, like I get it. You're a bad you're awesome. Like, what do I bring to the table? I am the table. When women say stuff like that, like, I understand why they feel that way, but it's just like, I have options. Why don't I just choose a version of you that's 10 years younger and isn't going to just sit there and create chaos in my life? I know a lot of men. Go ahead. That 23 year old, and I'm not saying everyone. For sure. Statistically, it's not always doesn't apply, but we change a lot from 23 to 40. Mm -hmm. And that woman will set you down in her 30s and go find someone else. She will like. Uh, so you're agreeing with me. She will absolutely be like, 
why am I with you if you're not performing or a billionaire that's not making me or work? Or providing. I will set you down and go find someone that will be that. Well, I'm 23, <laughs> so I can say something. Go ahead. If you All want right. me yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Um, I personally like dating older men because of the stability and for what they can provide. But as they get older, so do I get older. And there has to be something that keeps you guys together. For sure. Mm-hmm. There's definitely more than just like surface level things about Loyal, providing. Lo- loyalty, children, an empire that you guys build together for mm-hmm. sure. Or mm-hmm. a My, universal but, connection. So, like so, that physical vibe. Yeah, the energy. Yeah, so the, the energy, energy, the vibe. All right, so here's here the thing. Go. I, I want to go. go. My point was, I want peace above everything. The point wasn't, I want younger. The point was, I want peace above I, above me not wanting anything else. If I didn't want peace and I didn't want to be in a relationship, let's just all have sex, find the hottest girl, no one gives a f- That's what I wanted. But if I'm 46 and I'm running an eight-figure business and I need my f- peace and quiet at home and I want a relationship so I don't, I'm not out on the prowl every day like when I was. <laughs> 26 if i want that and then possibly to have a wife and then to have kids then in that case i want peace and i want peace more than i want anything and the reason why i was making the statement is because often when i meet girls that are in their 30s and they're single they tell me stories like what savannah did where i'm living my best life now okay you're living your best life but like the thing is like this is why me and savannah are really good friends because i don't want to date savannah she doesn't want to date me we do not have the same thing in common (laughs) Do you understand? <laughs> it's discernment without judgment. I don't yeah. judge Savannah, but we're not on the same vibe. And that's what I'm trying to explain. And a lot of ladies got really upset vibe? about that. On this podcast? On the vibe. Yeah, I never thought I'd say that. It's funny you say that. <laughs> but but, 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 it, but it's, it's, it's one of these things where I'm not trying to be judgmental, but I can also choose to want peace above everything else. Mm-hmm. When I don't want peace, though, and I'm a, I'm a famous movie star or I'm a famous rapper, then I'll just whoever I can slide into my DMs with. And those girls are now stuck on their highest setting because they got drake and then they think because they don't like drake they because they think (laughs) they think because they to 10 that they can get a nine to settle and then the whole world is screwed up women Mm -hmm. left swipe one 600 times for every one time they right swipe but to the contrary when you date an ugly man because you think he's going to be the safe option you make you boost his ego so far that he becomes well, but it's not. He but, but thinks so, he's the king of the so, world. So, well, so, no, you can also form men into something that you want to if they're like a nerd motiv- or something. Oh you yeah, know? you can motivate them. And okay. if they have money, then it's no trouble. Okay, but so it becomes a, a super nerd. <laughs> <laughs> here, here's a here's a.